Hello, everybody. It's Michelle here with Angel Souls. This is going to be our weekly angelic message for the week of Halloween 2024. I'm going to say it like that because I'm getting this up midweek. I've never missed a weekly, not in 11 years. I've gotten them up late, but I've never missed a weekly. Okay, So we're going to get into the messaging here. I want to give you some updates as well. And yeah, let's just dive right in. So first and foremost, I want to reflect back. I have done like a crazy amount of readings in the past week to the point where I've had to email some of you and been like, hey, I haven't forgotten you. So I appreciate all of your grace. I appreciate you guys being so understanding and so patient. Uh, I am now caught up on those. So kind of back in the rhythm of all that. So now would be the time if you want to get in line for a reading, go to angelsouls444.com. If you want a live session, uh, I think next week I may have a couple, a few stuff. Yeah, a few spots open, I would say, for next week. So uh, email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com if you want one of those. Now, if you are seeing this before Halloween, I am going to be going live here on YouTube at 9 p.m. Eastern. If you tune in, I may have a little code for some people. But come hang out while the veil is thin. We're going to tune in and see what happens. So you'll want to catch that. I'm also doing a ticketed live event via zoom on november 6 to discuss the energies of 2025 and anything post election here in the u.s if something is coming up around that it'll be kind of a now what uh reading i think <laughs> or or energy to discuss so all those details are down below and let's get into the reading i have in just about every single reading that I've been doing for people um I have heard the same thing and I know I'm going through this as well you've worked so hard in your life and now you're around people who are diminishing what you've experienced if you have a lot of training a lot of education people around you are diminishing that not appreciating it uh, or flat out just being dismissive. Suddenly, something that you were so sure that you wanted is falling apart. A lot of people are contemplating switching jobs. Relationships are being troubled right now. There's a lot. I, I Every single reading, there's been some element of, I don't feel like I'm living my potential. I feel so stagnant. I don't feel like I enjoy things anymore. And in some of the, you know, deeper ends of, of some of those readings, uh, it was full on saying I feel hopeless. And of course, make sure you're reaching out. If you really need help, make sure you're reaching out for that help. You deserve the help. But I want to address this energetically. The message I get around that is that it is temporary. There is a collective thing going on. I do want everyone to be sending good energy for December of this year. I think there could be some sort of very big event. It could be on maybe, maybe our soil, let's say. But if we put enough good energy behind that and there's peace and there's love and, you know, we're doing all the things, right? Uh, we can make that not happen. Now, some people roll their eyes at that, but those are the people that also believe that um, stomping all over another human being is the way to get ahead and to a way to live and it's justified or some nonsense. I don't know. Um, it's their karma. And we'll leave it at that. So if you are feeling stagnant, if you are feeling like your life has not turned out the way you had hoped, if you are wondering what now, why don't I enjoy my life? That is because there is a massive, massive change that is going on. And it feels like it's an absolute um, backdrop to our existence right now for each individual. And so you have your own stuff going on and it's at the, on the backdrop of all this other stuff. And no, it doesn't have to be here. I'm in the United States, if you can't tell by the way I speak, but um, we have an election coming up. And no, it's not because of that. Although a lot of people put energy into it and it kind of then reverberates around, but this is more, it, it, we're not going to get away with anything <laughs> anymore. And people who have tried to um, go the way of evil, go the way of 
manipulation uh, go the way, you know, all the lower density frequency uh, methods of getting ahead or just living their lives. That's coming to a halt now, like a screeching halt. And then when we get into 2025, I think this can be a very karmic time. It's always a karmic time, but this is going to be something where um, that karma is kind of really obvious. It's like really obvious. Like this is where we're seeing people kind of get what's coming to them. Now, we don't want to sit there and revel in that and go, oh, that's so awesome that they're getting what they deserve. Come on. Okay. Save your energy for something else. Save your energy for something else. Just let, let God handle it. Let it be. So that's going on. Uh, now each, and when I say that everybody, <laughs> I've, I've done a, quite a few live sessions this past week as well. And I, I just could not believe how so many people started off with saying, I've worked so hard and it's gotten me nowhere. Or I've, you know, done it. I used to love this and now it just, nothing makes sense anymore. I think that's more of like the, the common thread. Nothing makes sense anymore. I don't know why I'm, you know, working at this job or I don't know why I'm in this city or I don't know why I'm in this relationship. All of that. Okay. So again, they say that it's temporary. We're at the end of the destruction period. I've been telling everybody that starting the energy of 2025. We're going to be okay. We are going to be all right. And I'm just going to grab the cards here. And let's see what those messages are for this time. Okay, here we go. What do we have? Queen of Gabriel. This is funny because Gabriel, I went for a walk today. Gabriel came through so strongly. Uh, you know, if you guys don't know my story about Gabriel, go look it up on my channel. I posted a long, long, long time ago, but I had another moment like that today. Gabriel is on my mind and I look down. This is a sidewalk that I have walked over several, several times. And in the sidewalk, kind of small, someone had etched in Gabriel. Never noticed that there before. And I looked down, there it was little confirmation. Okay, so now we have Queen of Gabriel. Passionate, charming, brilliant, independent. You can do anything right now. Hang on to that. Because remember what I was just saying, like everything just feels like it doesn't make sense. How did I end up here? Am I stuck? You are not stuck. You are not stuck. Okay, you can do anything right now. Go after what you want, the ability to attract helpful people. So things are going to be shifting. Now, I think you get kind of an inkling of this this week. Oh, again, there's this theme of people just not appreciating what you bring to the table. And you might, you might be cutting a lot of that loose. If people are not, and I'm going through the same thing right now. I think it's been kind of wild where it's like, um, oh, you have your master of fine arts degree. Who cares? Oh, you went to New School University and you lived in New York City? Who cares? Oh, you work for all these places and high-level positions? Who cares? You know, um, you owned your own business for 11 years? Who cares? It's just this dismissiveness. Not that anybody needs to go around. I don't need to go around with my resume. But I'm just saying, like, you know, when people talk to you like you're stupid and you're like, I, I know how to do this. I've, I've got a lot of experience in this. And they're like... Throwing that around, are you? I got bragging all the time. <laughs> what the heck? So I bet a lot of people are feeling that. Well, that's just going to push you into this queen energy where we're going to get fed up and go, you know what? I don't need you to approve of me to be worthy. Here's more Gabriel. Nine of Gabriel. Stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility environmental activism. So this is getting beat up a little bit before you finally... Just go, you know what? Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's not worth being around the toxic people. Here's what's kind of crazy about this. If you do have a toxic person who had a hold on you for a very, very, very long time, maybe it's a family member that was incredibly abusive, like intellectually or, you know, mentally abusive, psychologically abusive, and maybe your family just made excuses for them and said, you know, go along to get along, 
make peace. You know, you two need to get along. Oh, that is the worst thing you can say to somebody who is getting uh, harassed, abused, whatever the case may be. That is, oh, man, you're trying to make them have 50% of the accountability. How dare you? It's your soul. It's your karma. So that's the kind of time that we're in. Figure it out. But again, this is showing how we're all super stressed. and Or, you know, a lot of people are just in these jobs that are not, they're no longer, maybe they were at one time, but they're no longer fulfilling. And it's not that they're boring, they're just stressful. So literally, you're having to stress yourself out just to live. And sometimes not even making it then. There's also a lot of entitlement from people so like you could be over here working your tail off and somebody comes up and says oh well I'm entitled to more of your time or oh I'm entitled to your money or oh I'm entitled to your home or your space or what have you uh, there's some eminent domain stuff going on for some of you out there with your homes I do have well just underneath now 95,000 subscribers thank you guys for subscribing I appreciate that um, if we push me over a hundred thousand I get a little I, I think well it's been so long I don't know if this is in in play anymore but I get a play button uh, and I've been at this a long time and never got one so <laughs> so if you push me over the, the hundred thousand mark I get one of those I think I'll show you if I get one okay uh, yeah so the nine of Gabriel is definitely I think showing this state of like we're not accepting this anymore. We're not going to get pushed around. Six of Raphael. This is getting back to basics. It's reconnecting, going back and recapturing a little bit of joy. And it says embrace your inner child. New friends or rekindled relationships, children or childhood. So this definitely is talking about having that childlike wonderment being brought back into your life after a very long time of struggle. And the Six of Raphael is also... Like think about a kid on Christmas morning, like getting excited, getting that excited about life again. Because you remember how good it can be or that you're powerful enough to make it good. All right. Okay. You're like, what the heck are you shoving that in our faces for? I'm about to tell you. Okay. <laughs> Ace of Raphael. We are getting rid of the nonsense where even if you have to just seal off your energy, I've been saying that to a lot of people in readings as well. Even if you have to seal off your energy, if someone's getting ridiculous, you don't have to entertain that. If someone's not emotionally regulating, you don't have to entertain them. You are not their dumping ground. Okay. Let that apply to everywhere in your life. And I find it really effective when someone's getting out of hand to just get on with my life. <laughs> and some people call that avoidance. Um, I call it, I'm not giving into your games. And societally speaking, saying that that's avoiding and like making it seem like you're weak for not just facing <sighs> when someone's trying to get you to rise up so they can get a charge off of you walking away if you feel like that's right doesn't mean you're weak as a matter of fact it's quite the opposite all right ace of Raphael, a positive new emotional experience fulfilling romantic relationships deep and lasting spiritual insights well, this is kind of cool. Uh, normally, I would pick a card from another deck, but I want to stick with this deck for this week because right now we're getting lucky and we're getting these <laughs> really great cards <laughs> coming out. This could be uh, really just um, clearing away the weeds. And, and the weeds could be people who just take your energy. I was at an event and I had this woman, I was introduced to this woman, and she came up to me and she was a little too let's just say charismatic. If you follow me for any amount of time, you know that that's code word for narcissist. Okay. It doesn't always have to be. Maybe someone just has charisma. Okay. But this was um, charismatic and like the, the ooh kind of sense, right? Coming at me, coming in hot. So she's just <laughs> like right here. And she um, first said that I would be really great with the 55. Like I, sh I would be really great to work for her or something or to do these projects for her. For the 55 and older crowd. Now, I got a birthday coming up, but uh, what? I'm not. And great if you're 55 and over. I, great. But listen, I got stuff to do and I don't need you rushing me. Okay. I'm still trying to handle some sunspots from being out in Colorado. This is foundation on this. They're big. They're like, 
like everywhere. So I, I please, okay, just calm down. Everybody, calm down. All you menopausal mamas out there, calm down, okay? Thank you. So <laughs> she told me that I'd be really good with this group, and there's this other thing that she wants my help on, and I was just like, why are you coming in here? And like, you literally just learned my name. And now you're trying to get me sucked in and, and doing things for you, right? So this entitlement, you know, this stuff that's like an energy drain. Thank God. I, they, okay, listen, hey, yo, if, if the angels weren't looking out for me in this situation, I don't know who was. Because I was supposed to sit next to this person. I was. And then somebody, another guest came in. They didn't have a seat. They didn't know anybody else there, I suppose. And I was like, you know, my seat. Here you go. Sat there. I went to a, a more fun table. <laughs> In this case, it was a more fun table. So, you know, these kinds of things that are coming up, we're becoming more and more aware of that and being more conscientious of saving our energy. And again, when she was standing there saying all these things to me, and quite frankly, like not that, not that being 55 and older is bad, but I found it insulting because I don't like when people are pushing their perspective of me on me. Like, thanks for your feedback, but... Mm. You know, plus I looked good that night, okay? I had everything done. The gray was covered. I don't know where she was coming from. Okay, I don't. But I sealed off my energy, and as she was talking, I just started kind of looking at the pretty flowers on the table. And I'm like, uh-huh, yep, what you're doing is none of my business. That's yours. So in order for us to have this Ace of Raphael kind of moment, we need to be willing to find the humor in things, which I always try to do, and to make sure you're protecting yourself again spiritually now this ace of Raphael for those of you who would like to have a love partner here you go it's good stuff all right let's get one more card here and we'll wrap it up <laughs> see I'm glad I stuck with this deck all right three of Raphael <laughs> reasons to celebrate a community of friends happy announcements regarding relationships or children so here's another card that's talking about children, okay? Some of you may realize that you're pregnant, okay? Now, and I only say that because there's two Gabriel cards. Yeah, Gabriel cards here, okay? Gabriel's all about conception. Um, Gabriel helps with labor, um, watches over children. Metatron watches over children as well. So there could be some happy announcement like that. It could be finding a healthier group of friends. It could be, you know, just really, you're not accepting less than you deserve anymore. And, and you never had to in the first place. So that's the nice thing about the shift that's happening. Now, is it going to be sunshine and rainbows for everybody? Of course not. We all have our stuff. Other people exist. Okay. Comment down below if you find other people kind of annoying sometimes. Not everybody. Cause you got, you got your pals. You got your people right here. Maybe there's some people that you've known from the past, right? They're there, but just in general, right? Like it's kind of a drain in the charisma people, right? So we will leave that there again. Join me tomorrow evening. I'm recording this on the 30th. So on Halloween, the 31st, <coughs> pardon me, at 9 p.m. Eastern, I will be going live on YouTube. I should say this. If anything occurs and I'm not up or whatever, please watch the community tab. If, if I run into some sort of technical something and I have to go live on another platform, I will keep you updated on that. That's just like a plan B in case something does happen. And then on November 6th at 7 p.m. Eastern, that is the ticketed event where you can, it's $10. So uh, you get a ticket. I will send you the link. Please be mindful because what, however you pay through PayPal, whatever that email is through your PayPal is where I'm sending the link. Okay. So no boohoo. I missed it because you have your hotmail on there. <laughs> you haven't used it in years or you don't know which password is. Okay. <laughs> like I did my best. Okay. That's all I could do. So I love you guys. Again, thank you so much for your support and my heart has just, you guys have really warmed my heart um, and made me feel very, very loved. And uh, that was from people just understanding that I, you know, I'm fortunate that a lot of reading requests came through. It's very abundant for me, but I am one person. They all get done by me. So 
uh, the grace you guys gave me means the world to me. And um, the concern, I don't want you guys being concerned. Everything's okay. Uh, but just being really cool and giving me a little more space so that I didn't have to be drained and pushing myself to get your readings to you. So again, thank you for that. I love each and every one of you. Take this energy of Gabriel and Raphael with you. The veil is going to be very thin. It's already thin. So be meditating. See what comes through. Come on back here and comment. You're interacting with the video helps out a ton. And remember, we're trying to get me over 100,000. I'm just curious now to see if they're still doing that. I mean, I've kind of <laughs> kind of gave up a long time ago. I'm like, Meh. it's been sitting there at like 94, 95,000 subscribers for years now. It's just like plateaued and sat there. So if it doesn't happen, it's fine. We're going to move on. I'm still very, very fortunate because of all of you. So take care. Bye-bye.